Ya, bola. Good morning. What is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to a soul diary vlog it has been so long since i took you guys to seoul i think it's been around six months the last time i went was to film an office vlog and we are going back today for the first time in so long this soul trip is going to be different from anything i've ever done guys cleo got hired to film with a company which is just the funniest plot twist ever that is going to be a whole separate video but in today's video i just want to kind of document my journey doing this because i gotta be honest i am nervous if you didn't know i used to actually always go to seoul with cleo during 2020 i did quite a few trips with her i would just bring her in my little sling on the ktx train we never had any problems but honestly cleo was quite a bit younger then i feel like i was also younger then like i had less anxiety problems and it was just a whole different time i literally don't think i brought her on the train since 2021 on my journey moving out of Seoul. If you guys didn't know, I used to live in Seoul and I moved there and then I moved back out very quickly after. I'll talk about that more later in this video actually. But yeah, it's been a while since I took her and traveled with her on the train. It really is not gonna be a big deal, I know. I feel like I'm just like working it up to be like this huge thing. Welcome to the vlog. It is 12.20ish right now. I've just been kind of getting stuff together all morning. I still need to finish packing up my bag and then we're gonna leave for the train station in about 30 minutes. We're staying in a little Airbnb tonight, so I'll give you guys the whole tour then. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything packed up. I'll show you guys what I'm bringing for this quick little overnight trip. And then we're gonna head to the train station. We'll get to Seoul, I think at around four o'clock, so not too late. So first of all, this is Cleo's new carrier. Very excited to use it. We were practicing it yesterday. Um, the KTX is pretty chill with bringing dogs on, but you just have to make sure that you have like a carrier that you can technically close. Got my clothes, glasses, cosmetics. I'm a big fan of travel size stuff. This is a cooler bag that I'm gonna use for transporting Cleo's food because her food is refrigerated. So we need something to keep it cold, some hair stuff, and then electronics that I'm gonna put in that bag. So let's get packed up. Soul, welcome. The train went, I would say, as expected. Cleo is such a rock star. She's so good. She was just like sitting down. The only hiccup we had was something that is not really her fault, but it was just really hard to deal with. Cleo gets very triggered by the cacao talk sound. If you guys don't know what cacao talk is, it's similar to WhatsApp, and that's what everyone here in Korea uses to communicate. People don't use iMessage. And I mean, usually on public transportation, people think to mute their phone, but Is there still wind? What was that? I don't know what that was. As I was saying, usually people mute their phone on public transportation, but there were a couple people on our train whose cacao sound continuously went off. And it's not just like a little ding, it's like a th th So suddenly the sound started going off from people's phones and she was getting so scared and she was shaking and panting. So I was able to like console her and I kind of walked around on the train with her for a couple minutes just to kind of try to calm her down. But luckily the ride went by really fast, so that's great. Anyways, we made it to our Airbnb. I'm excited to show you guys around because this place is pretty different from anywhere I've stayed before. There were not any dog-friendly hotels in the area that we're staying in, and I really was not in the mood to stay in like a completely different area of Seoul. I wanted to stay specifically around where we're shooting tomorrow, and I found this little Airbnb that looked so cute. It had a little rooftop very small very old i mean that's the only way to put it it's a very old place but you know what i think it's gonna be perfect for the night it's just the two of us so here's the door when you walk in and then doo -doo -doo, there's like a little mini kitchen area 
Do -do -do. Here's the bedroom where we will be sleeping tonight. They have like a lot of cute vibey stuff like lights and projectors and all that kind of stuff. And then I got to show you guys the main reason that we booked this place it's actually out here. There's actually a rooftop, which is so fun. I just thought it would be nice to have a little, you know, quiet place for us to hang out in during the evening and tomorrow morning when we wake up. But yeah, a lot of the older Korean houses, they actually have these little terraces. Hopefully you guys can hear me, it's a little bit windy. But how cute is this? Look, they're even growing lettuce out here. Anyways, it is about 5.40. I'm trying to figure out what I want to go ahead and do with my evening. I think I'm going to feed Cleo. I'm sure she's hungry. And then give myself just like 20 minutes or so to come down from the past three or four hours because I am overstimulated. Um, I know I'll be fine though. And then I'm thinking we're gonna do a nice evening walk. I honestly would not mind a little terrace dinner. I feel so bad for Cleo. She's okay. She's not acting super anxious, but I can just tell she's like, mom, where the heck are we? You guys can see her right there, right? I wish I could communicate with her like, hey, we're just here for 24 hours. It's gonna be okay. You want your medicine? Let's get your medicine. Come on. Medicine and then dinner time. Okay, dinner was so good. I love when you just end up finding a good restaurant on a whim. I love a good terrace by myself in the summer and the one I picked was just perfect because it was private but I could also kind of experience the street vibe because it was right next to the street and the food was really good and the glass of wine definitely you know always enjoy one of those kept it to just one glass though because I don't want to be hungover tomorrow uh, but now I'm rewarding Cleo with a lovely trip to the park Glee! <laughs> You were so good today. You deserve this. I gotta say y'all, Songsu is a vibe. I think I've only hung out in Songsu during spring and winter, which aren't my favorite months. I love summer. I really like how chill it is in the way that there is not a ton of loud music blaring. I feel like everyone is just kind of doing their own. Did you guys hear that cat? Oh gosh. Oh shit. Okay, we should go the other way. Oh, there's two of them. One of them is in the tree and one of them is on the ground. I think they're trying to like mate or something. Cleo's like, what's good? pretty darn good last night. I did wake up a few times just for like a few seconds. I feel like I'm always like a little bit out of whack when I sleep somewhere new, but overall I feel like I got such good sleep. I ended up going to sleep at 11.30ish. It is now about 8.30. I've been waking up really early lately, so this kind of feels like a sleep in. So yeah, it feels good to sleep in. Today is our shooting day. I'm really excited. I did get a message last night and they were asking if I brought any like toys or shampoo for Cleo, but I didn't. 
Um, and so I'm gonna actually run to Daiso and pick Cleo up some new toys. Just one about 10 minutes away. We'll get there right at 10 when they open, pick up the goods, come back here, and then get ready. My checkout from here is at 12, and we don't have to be at the shoot until one. So I ended up finding a cute little cafe that's right next to our shooting location and they're dog friendly i use this app whenever i'm with cleo if you guys are in korea they probably also have these apps for other countries just obviously called something different it's called banyo Sengwa. you can basically go on it and then it is like a dog friendly locations app so you can either click the restaurants option um cafe hotels and then people actually leave reviews and tell you how they rate it but that's like my go-to thing that i use whenever i'm traveling if i need to have cleo come into a place with me it's just way easier to find a place on here than calling or like awkwardly having to ask and then deal with the rejection oh my gosh i literally look what is this <laughs> what is this okay look at cleo Doo -doo. cozy girl i got some good food for you in the fridge do you know that Mm, you're so soft, honey. Mission Daiso complete. It was so funny because I had to like squeeze all the toys to make sure that they had a squeaky in them. It was driving Cleo nuts. And I'm gonna go home. I got a shower because I'm already sweating from how hot it is. And then we'll get ready and we'll head out. So time just flew by and suddenly I was like rushing out the door. <laughs> Luckily I was able to get ready and just in time and now we are at the cafe that I was showing you guys earlier this morning. This place is cute, very calming vibes. Cleo is taking a little cat nap next to me. I'm excited because I'm finally gonna get some coffee in me. You guys know usually I'll drink coffee like first thing in the morning. Although lately I have been doing decaf um, this is not decaf though, so hopefully it doesn't send us into a panic. Cheers. I also got a scone. This looks so good. back it's like 10 45 right now it's been the longest day but i'm home showered it feels really good to be nice and clean after being on transportation all day it was a really good trip i am so glad i ended up staying the night i feel like so often whenever i have work in seoul i will just go there early in the morning and then i'll come back right at night if you guys didn't know i actually used to live in seoul but it really was not for a long time so sometimes i feel weird saying i lived there but back in 2020, I did move up to Seoul. I had a whole year-long lease apartment. And after living there for just a couple months, 
I moved back to Busan. It didn't work out. If you guys have ever moved somewhere and you just knew in your heart it wasn't meant to be, that's basically what I experienced. But I will say, I feel like my experience living in Seoul was very tainted because it was during the extreme COVID restrictions. Like you couldn't even go to a cafe at that time. So I really don't think I got the full experience. It was also winter and I wasn't really living in like the hottest of hottest places. I was just kind of like living in like a random stop. Shinderim, if you guys know where Shinderim is, there's like not really anything going on there. So I definitely don't think I had like the best experience living in Seoul, but I do always wonder like, what would my life be like now had I stayed? Although I do know it was definitely the right decision for me to come back to Busan because I, it's been like four years now and I've never had like a, oh, I wish I would have stayed moment. I've always just had, I'm so glad I came back moments. But even though I'm glad to be living in Busan, it is always so much fun visiting. I feel like with my work trips over the past few years, cause you guys know I go to Seoul a lot for work. I'm always just in the biggest rush. Like I'll go there, I'll quickly do my work and then I'll come back to Busan in a rush. But I really enjoyed the past 24 hours there. I'm glad I stayed the night and I actually have work in Seoul almost every week of the month of July. I have to go there quite a few times. So I'm thinking maybe we could turn this into like a mini series, 24 hours in Seoul and I can just show you guys some fun things that I do after I end up working there for a few hours. If there's any places you guys would wanna see me bop around to in the videos that I film in Seoul, definitely let me know. I know sometimes you guys might see videos on TikTok of like certain cafes or pop-ups. Let me know if there is a hot spot that you think I would enjoy. Please tell me because I'm heading back up to Seoul quite a few times in the month of July. If you guys enjoyed this video, we're gonna have more Seoul vlogs coming soon. I will also have the YouTube video up that I filmed with Cleo. It was a really fun time. We tried out like a bunch of little dog gadgets very interesting stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would not be able to do any of this without the support of you. So it means so, so much. That's about it for the vlog. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon in the next one. Bye guys. Say bye bye. <laughs> you sleepy girl.